This video will hopefully show you that even Grail Comics can be bought at prices you will not believe if you are not afraid to negotiate with people. If you want to know what's in here, you're just going to have to stay tuned. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. What is up, my fellow comic book collectors? My name is Chris, and this is my channel. We love comics. And look, and look at this. I don't even have to use my knife because they have a box that you could just tear open. And um, this is a graded Grail comic. It is lower grade, but I do not care because of the fact when you hear the price that I got for this book, I want to hopefully show people that when you make deals, when you make efforts, when you're not afraid to take chances, even books that are key comics, and this is a key comic, it is a Silver Age first appearance of a major character who is in the Marvel movies. I won't say which one, you'll have to watch, but let's first cover this so you can't see it okay and i'll reveal it of course in a moment now i know a lot of people out there they get very discouraged they see other people's channels they see comic books and they're like oh i'll never get that i can't get that and if you have that mindset you will basically create that reality to come true because if you convince yourself you can't get something you won't make any efforts and things don't just happen to find their way around you. There's a lot more to life than just wishful thinking, hoping, and praying. There's a lot more to it. And I hope you will research that and learn. So, you have to change your mindset if you want things to gravitate towards you. I know some people will never understand this concept, never believe this concept, never listen to this concept. And those are the people that are never going to get anything they really want because they're not going to work for it because they'll convince themselves right off the bat that they can't do it. And when you say to yourself, you can't do something or something is impossible, what a surprise. That's exactly the very thing that is proven correct. So it's all about changing the mindset. Whether you believe that or not, that is up to you. I'm not going to convince you. Hopefully you'll see with this comic and many others that I have shown on my channel. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, I please recommend that you do. That you can get deals. You can make things happen. And I never even search for books. These books find me. If you want to think that's a coincidence or just luck, that's fine. Now, I'm just going to break it to you right now. This isn't Amazing Fantasy 15. Not yet. Eventually, I will get that book. But this is a book I've never had before, never thought I would be able to get. It is a very low grade, but I don't care because like I've said before, and I'll say it all the time, low grade is better than no grade. And now I own the first appearance of a major Marvel superhero from the Silver Age. And when you hear the price, you will understand why I could not pass this up. So let us first turn this over and show you the book I now own. This is Strange Tales, issue 110, which is the first appearance of Doctor Strange. Now, as you could see, it's a 0.5. This is the one thing I'm a, I'm a little disappointed in, not with the seller, this is my fault, but I'm going to blame kind of CGC on this one. And again, for the price, I don't care. It still doesn't matter. But if you see right here, and it might be hard to see, pages 4 and 14 are missing. Affects the story incomplete. Now, the reason I didn't bother to check that when I bought the auction is it's not a green label. CGC did the wrong thing here. Because pages 4 and 14 are missing, it affects the story, it's marked incomplete. This should be a qualified green label. As you can see, it is a blue label. But, again, for the price, I still cannot complain. Now, this person that sold this book to me did not have a best offer. They had this listed at $705, which includes $30 shipping. 
So the shipping was definitely uh, higher than normal. So I was a little disappointed in that. But again, I made this happen. I made the effort. So after convincing this individual a little back and forth, I got the person down, including shipping and handling, to $455. Now, that's not the final price. Because of the fact that I had eBay bucks. And I had a lot of eBay bucks because there were a lot of specials this particular quarter on eBay. Where there were a lot of 10% cash back and all these other different programs they had. And I took advantage of every one of them. I ended up paying with shipping and handling. So out of my pocket cost, $110.11 for a Strange Tales 110 first appearance of Doctor Strange. It is also the first appearance of the Ancient One, Nightmare, Wang, and First Pace Pot Pete. And what does it say? Hold on. It says First pa Pace Pot Pete and Wizard Team Up. So it's not the first time of Pace Pot Pete, but the first team up. So it has the first appearance of Doctor Strange, the Ancient One, Nightmare, and Wang. And the first paste pot, Pete, say that 10 times fast, and wizard team up. So, $110 it cost me. This book in a point five is roughly about a $450 book. I got it for $110. Now, luckily, I had the eBay bucks. But again, this book was listed... At $705, which includes the $30 shipping and handling fee. It only cost them $17 to ship this. So I'm a little disappointed in how much they charged me for the shipping and handling. But even so, if the shipping and handling would have been normal, like maybe $15, I would have spent under $100 on this book. But even still, I cannot complain. Now, would I love a 5.0, 6.0, 7.0, 9.0? Of course. But I don't have a couple of thousand dollars to spend on that kind of book. So now I own the first appearance of Doctor Strange. I made this happen because they did not have a best offer. I contacted the person and did it respectfully. We talked a little bit, communicated, and I told them I would be able to pay for it right away. Got my eBay bucks, applied it to it, and spent $110.11 on the first appearance of Doctor Strange. Now, I don't do these things to brag. And there'll, there'll, there'll be my haters, you know, they'll hate everything, including my video the other day about trying to help a subscriber stray dog. There are, there are jerks everywhere in the world. You can't help that. I'm not here for them. What I'm trying to get people to do is change their mindset, is to what I like to call understand that you have more power than you will ever believe in. And your belief system is what controls your thought process, which controls what you do and don't do. If you are, if you want to win a race, you got to take the effort to do it. You can't just get on your knees and pray. If you've never exercised, if you don't get in shape, if you don't prepare, if you don't use the blood, sweat, and tears to make it happen, it's not going to happen. And it's definitely not going to happen if you say, well, there's no way that I'm ever going to win the race, so why bother? You create your own reality with your mindset. So if you want to have a defeatist attitude then you will always have something to defeat you because life will always give you what you feel, not what you believe. So if you feel that you can't do something and you create that into a belief system, well, you create that reality and it confirms it. So if you're scared of everything, well, isn't it amazing that the world provides you with things to always be afraid of? If you're always angry at things and you're an angry person, is it any surprise that the world is completely giving you things that make you mad? These are not coincidences, but the problem is we're always taught the negative aspect, the fear, the anger, the hatred, the jealousy, all the negative emotions. And we seem to have a lot of negative things in this world. I mean, I'm sure many people can attest to that. But here's the trick. What works in a negative point of view will actually work with a positive point of view. They just don't want people to think positively because if you're positive and you're self-sufficient and you do things on your own and you understand your own power, well, then other people cannot profit off of you. This is why people these days, you'll see hundreds of people that all regurgitate the same thing over and over again and they seem like robots. It's a lot easier to control people when they're all thinking and doing the same thing. 
And if you keep people scared and doubtful and full of anger and all these negative aspects, you create a world full of anger and hatred and division and separation and all these things. So I want people to understand, or like I always say, understand, that this is more than just comic books. If you experience joy in your life and you see excitement for things and you understand or again understand that you have the power to get whatever you want including nothing because if you make yourself believe that you cannot do anything you won't so that's actually creating the very thing that you really don't want all you have to do is snap your fingers change your your mindset and then all of a sudden things will just change now it's not like you're going to just change and all of a sudden gold is going to drop from the sky i mean you do have to keep it into a you know a three-dimensional reality-based world but many people that have started to listen to my advice who decided instead of looking at a for example an auction that says seven hundred dollars plus for this book with no best offer and they say well i don't have that kind of money so i'm not even going to bother well they did not take this book home because they didn't create the effort so it's nice to have the change of the mindset but you also have to do the work you will never be a bodybuilder by using positive thinking by saying, I wish and I pray and I hope. No, you got to go to the gym. You got to lift the weights. You got to eat right. You got to put in the blood, sweat, tears, and time it takes to make it happen. So you have to make it happen. Anybody that tells you that video, like the secret, where you can just think of something and all of a sudden you just manifest everything without doing the work, is telling you part of the, th the equation. Tell any bodybuilder to just sit at home, eat bonbons, and wish for a healthy body and watch how fast that doesn't happen. You have to make it happen. So not only do you have to change your mindset, but you have to put in the effort. And the way to do that is to lose the fear. Not for nothing, these are comic books. This is supposed to be fun. You know how many of these auctions I've seen on eBay for years that I've been trying to get this book? And it took me to get a 0 0.5 book years after trying to search for this book to finally get one that I could afford? A lot of people can afford this book for $110. Not many people can afford it at 705 including me at this time. I didn't have the money to spend for 700 nor would I have. So I've passed up on many auctions. But here it is. Now I have it. And the fun is in the hunt. Make it into a game. Realize that if you miss out on one, you may miss out on a dozen. You may miss out on a hundred. But the hundred and first you succeed is the only one you will care about. So I, I cannot stress this enough. Change your mindset, put in the effort, lose the fear, make it fun, and use your brain. It doesn't always take money. You can do trades. You can offer to work for somebody and exchange in a, in a barter way. It, you are limited to your thoughts. So if you put in no effort, is it shocking that you're not reaping the rewards? You know, like they said in the uh, baseball game movie with Tom Hanks at the end when um, the female catcher, I forget her, um, Gina, uh, what's her name? Whatever. The main character that plays the catcher. I know Gina Davis. And she's ready to quit at the end. And Tom Hanks approaches her about it and she says it's too hard. And Tom Hanks says it's supposed to be hard. Otherwise, everybody would do it. So it's the ones that are willing to put in the effort and make the sacrifice that tend to succeed. And that still does not guarantee success. But you're more likely to succeed by doing what it takes to win than to just guarantee failure by doing everything to lose, which includes doing nothing. So I want this to apply to comic books, to relationships, to life in general. So I'm trying to teach more than just how you can get yourself a graded comic book. Some will see that. Most will ignore it. Some will even hate it. I'm not here for them. If one person out of the five, 600 that view this video get it and they take a chance and they make the effort and they change their life and try and become more positive and all of a sudden it works, then hey, that's a good thing. Pay it forward. So that's it. Don't forget to wait until the end to see who's today's subscri sub I can't say that lately. Today's surprise subscriber shout out. And if you have seen this far, tell me what I am showing here. It is a crumpled piece of newspaper.
Wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out. If you want one, you just have to be a subscriber and asking for one will speed up the process. And please, if you do wait until the end and you do watch who's today's surprise subscriber shout out is, post it in the comments section. Give them a little support because I promise you they appreciate it. So hopefully this will help inspire people. I want you to get out there, do what it takes, make the effort. And if you fail, so what? You think this is the only comic in existence out there? No. So if I wouldn't have gotten this one, it would have been a matter of time before I got another one. So if you fail, that's okay. Just don't continue to fail. Don't harp on the fact that you failed. If there are two doors out of a room and one of them you open leads to a brick wall, well, you failed to get out. Most people slam the door, crawl into a ball and cry for the rest of their lives. The smart ones say, I no longer have to take that door anymore. And they take the other door and they exit the room. I get knocked down, but I get up again. Hopefully this inspired somebody. And if it inspired you, please share it. If any of my advice has helped you, please acknowledge it in the comments section. Let other people know this is not me being some tinfoil hat crazy conspiracy theorist who's just rambling on just to hear himself talk. I'm here to try and help people. And I know some of you appreciate it, and some of you listen. The more I can help to change their world for a more positive way, the better their lives will be. Because whether you're successful or not doesn't affect me in any way. So I'm not doing this to gain anything. I'm just doing it because it's a nice thing to do, because there's a lot of negative people out there I'm trying to think of the right word. There's other words I can actually say, but let's keep it PG. So thanks again for listening, and don't forget, it's not you, it's not I. It's We Love Comics, and who knew that the Flaming Torch could be done in by mirrors? Didn't see that coming. Ah. Hey everybody, thanks for watching my video. If you'd like to connect with me on Facebook, you can click right here. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, you could click right here. If you'd like to get 2% cash back on your comic book purchases off of eBay, you can click here. If you want to hit subscribe and join the channel, we'd love for you to click here. Now, on to the surprise subscriber shout-out. Enjoy!